Hello everybody and welcome back to this tutorial and in the previous tutorial we took a look at uh, different math operators that can be used in the Python 3 interpreter whether you are using simply just numbers as we did in the previous video or whether you are actually storing different numbers in variables and then using them as variables. But what we are going to take a look at now is some strings and or arrays or however you want to call it in Python 3. So first of all let us think what an actual string is. So we know that the number is simply a number, but our Python 3 or our program has to know some when we actually want to type a word or a sentence or any paragraph or something like that. What string is, is basically strings are words. Now you define strings in Python, in Python with the actual single or double quotes. So for example, if you just use single quote and then hello, you can see this will print hello as a string. If you just type hello without single quotes, it will give you an actual error saying hello is not defined. Because if you don't have a quotes, it will try to search hello as an actual variable. And we have not defined any hello variable, so therefore we cannot really find hello, and therefore we get the error. You can also use the actual double quotes if you want to, so you can see right here, hello, it will print the same output as in the single quotes which is just simply hello. So this is what a string is, basically a word or a paragraph or an actual sentence defined between the single or double quotes. Now, what, interest, what is interesting in Python 3 is that the strings or the math operators can actually be used on strings. Not all of them, but some of them, such as the addition, the multiplication, you can use that on strings. And we will show just in a second how you can do that. So just open up your idle, whether it is in the Ubuntu, like I'm doing right here, or whether it is in your Windows 10 environment. So just open it anywhere you like. And let us use the Windows 10 environment right now. It doesn't even matter. And first of all, before we actually uh, take a look at the math operators using in the strings. Let us see how we can actually uh, manipulate strings differently. So, so if you just type here uh, single quotes, hello, and then add a plus sign right here, and then open single quotes once again, and just type here world, you can see that we actually get printed out hello world. Now you might be asking right now, first of all, why did this actually get printed out as a one word? And second of all, why is it, why this doesn't have any space between it? Well, the plus sign can actually concat strings for us, same as the numbers. If you, for example, type two plus two, it will give you four. But if you type string plus string, it will add the second string to the ending of the previous string. And the reason why we don't have any actual space between these two words is because we didn't define any space in our strings right here. So if you want to have space, you can just type hello and then add space and then uh, specify the single quote and then plus world. And you can see right now we get printed out hello world. Now, of course, you don't have to do this right like this. You can simply just type open quotes, hello world, and then close quotes, and it will print the same thing without using the math operator plus and concatting two different strings. Now, one thing you can't do is you can't, for example, concat strings with numbers. If you try to do something like this, so hello, and then plus four, it will give you an error. An error can only concatenate string to integer, or pardon me, con concatenate, what, what did I even say? It doesn't even matter. So can only concatenate string, not integer to string. So what this basically says, you, you can concat two different types of actual variables. So for example, you can concat an integer or a number to a string, which actually makes sense. You can only add number with number and you can only add strings with strings. However, you can actually multiply strings with numbers. Since we can't add it, we can try to multiply it. So if you just type here, uh, single quote, hello, and then times four, you can see what we get as an output is an actual hello, 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 uh, printed out four times. Now, if you want to print it a hundred times, you can do that. So hello times a hundred, you will get printed out hello hundred times. 
So let us see how we can actually do it with variables, even though we haven't really covered variables yet. Let us see, let, I will just show you an example of how this would be useful with variables. So let's say string one equals, so just copy the same names. I will explain what kind of names variables need to have later on. For now on, just call it string one equals open quotes and just type here, hello. String two will be equal to open quotes and just type world between those quotes. And let's see how we can actually, instead of just typing the actual strings themselves, which really wouldn't make any sense. For example, let's say that you need to type a whole entire paragraph, which will be stored in one string. It is rather easier to just type the variable name than to type the entire paragraph when you want to use it. So in order to concat the strings, we can just add some string number three which will be equal to string one plus string two. You can see everything worked without an error. And if I just want to print the string three, which will be the value stored in string three, you can see we get printed out hello world, which is normal and that is what we expected. But right now, if we want to change the string three, we can do it with just simply typing string one times uh, or pardon me, times four plus string two. And if you just type here string three, you can see hello, 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 hello world. So what it does first, since our string one has a word hello in it, it will multiply it four times as we can see right here. And then at the end, it will add the string two, which in our case is just world. So you can perform something like this as well or basically this is something that you will perform, most likely you will not be doing anything like this, since this is only, this will only be, this only works in the interpreter itself if you wanted to write this in any uh, text editor or in any program that you are writing, this will give you out an error saying basically nothing right here is really defined, therefore the program doesn't really know what to do with this. But if you write it something like this, this is something that the Python program will recognize and it will execute this printing the hello world string. This as well right here. But of course, uh, if you're wondering, you can't really divide string. So string three divided or string three equals string one divided by uh, string two will give you out an error saying unsupported operand type so basically you can't really divide strings because we don't really know what that would be. You can only multiply and add strings. So that would be about it for this simple basic introductory to the strings themselves. Of course, we'll manipulate them on a whole another level later on. But for now on, this will be enough. If you're a beginner, this should be enough to actually understand strings at the most basic level. And we are going to continue coding and learning in the next lecture. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.